Hi guys, Thursday, April 8th, 2021. So I'm doing a bonus video today, nothing special. Just wanna take a look back at uh, some of the work I did uh, that uh, includes the backyard. Um, I wanted to point out how good the Scott's Sun and Shade mix actually is. Now, last year this time I planted and it wasn't a success because the uh, weather wasn't good. So it, it's still up and down. So I won't be planning to maybe late middle of May to late May, possibly early June, depending on the uh, weather. Uh, but in this area, okay, um, when I put the edger down, I had gaps from the edger to the rest of the yard. So what I did was uh, fill this area, and we're talking about two, three inches from the um, no dig edger, uh, filled it with dirt, uh, seeds, peat moss, and I just want you, I want to point out the difference between the Scott's brand versus just the uh, Midwest grass seed I, I used for a couple years, so, and as you can see, it just looks, especially compared to this area here, this area doesn't get a lot of fertilizer, okay, like the uh, rest of the yard. But that means that the Scott's brand hasn't gotten much either. But you can see, look at the difference. And I'm going to point it out in the video uh, shortly, but this isn't Scott's, this is. So let me take you back. Saturday, May 23rd, 2020. It didn't turn out too bad. Still have a little work to do. Going to fill this area with dirt. Well, see, all I'm going to do is just open up this area a little more. That's it, nothing hard. I got to straighten out this edge a lot better, but you just take it like this and you just like so. So I'll fill this up with dirt first, okay? Then I'll put the seeds in the dirt and rake it in. So far, so good. I'm gonna get the other bag. I'm just trying to smooth it out so that it's pretty much, you know, meeting up with the existing dirt, so. I'm gonna mix it in a whole lot better than this. So when it's so close to like an edge like this, the trick is you just rub it in. Rub it in, smooth it out, like so. Nothing to it. You wanna spread them because you don't want them all lumped up together. What happens is they're gonna compete for spacing and nutrients and water and what will happen a lot of them will just die out so just mix them around as best as you can and this is how you want it to look there's nothing to it it's not hard just a little work it's time for the start of fertilizer you guys didn't need me to show you how to put peat moss down did you there's nothing to it again you just want to give it a nice watering keep it moist keep the seeds moist twice a day for two weeks welcome back so just to reiterate the Scott's brand doesn't need a whole lot of water drought resistant unlike other brands now I'm not speaking against the Midwest brand but obviously this side over here doesn't get the same amount of fertilizing so that means the Scots doesn't either now the fertilizer does a uh, spreader does a better job at covering the rest of the yard here I would probably have to do it more so by hand but as you can see we see brown it looks stressed here and this is early April look at the Scots though and I put it down the same way okay so keep that in mind when you're choosing a grass seed I mean look at the blades 
very nice and in the yard throughout you know some of the blades they i mean a thick greenish not even the, the thick lime green it just looks like it's unhealthy well it looks good but just compared to the scots it's just a difference so keep that in mind when you go out to uh, make your purchases uh, and again if you plan on overseeding or doing some lawn renovation the weather plays a part in all of this as well uh, i won't be overseeding until maybe the middle of may i need some uh consistent uh temperature i learned my lesson last year i used the scots uh brand but i mean the weather was barely 50 degrees so if you, you're thinking about overseeding or seeding now you know this area and it, you know it, it turned out okay uh but i'm gonna do it again and you'll really see some great results all right but keep all this stuff in mind the uh brand uh plays a part in it too all right guys uh Thanks for watching. You know the motto. Take care of your families. Take care of your bodies. Take care of your lawns too. Bye.